Hi, I'm Cody with Engine Tech. In this video today, we're going to show you how to load the piston rings onto the piston. The first thing you'll want to do is identify your rings and make sure that you have them, um, you know which where they go. So you'll have, in this specific one, we have the oil control ring, which is going to be three pieces. It has your expander and the two rails. And then you have your compression ring. So you'll have the top ring and the second ring. Now on this one, many of our ring sets, the second ring is going to have either a dot or a word on there like this one says top. This does not mean it's the top ring. It merely means that this goes towards the top of the engine. So the bevels are down, top or dot goes up. That's 99.9% .9 of our rings. Just want to make sure that you pay attention to the instructions that come in the box. Okay, so the first step is to add your expander onto the third groove of the piston. So this does come with, uh, the, the design will keep that from bunching together so it's not going to allow it to overlap. So you just spread that apart and set it into the groove. Uh, the next thing you'll want to do is put your rail on. These are flexible so you uh, just start with one end, go below the expander and roll it around. Make sure you're pulling it far enough away that you don't scratch the, the head of the piston because then that can mess with your compression. So if you got one end, then the next one's just going to go on top of the expander. So the same thing, just get it in location in the first spot and roll it around, making sure that you don't scratch the head of the piston again. Okay, so the next one is going, the next one you're going to do is your second ring. So remember that's the one that says top off, top for top of the engine. So what we're going to use is the, are these ring expander pliers. You're just going to open it up enough to go over the top of the piston. Again, don't scratch it. Get it into the groove and let it go. Same thing with your top one. This is a square cut. It doesn't have a dot or bevels or anything, so it can go either way. You do, it doesn't matter which way you do it. Again, you're just going to open it up enough to go into the groove without scratching the head of the piston. And there you go. So now the last thing, the last step to do is make sure that you don't have these end gaps lined up because you can get either gases from the, com the, the combustion chamber going down into the cylinder or the oil going up into the compression, into the combustion chamber. So you just want to stagger these, make sure they're not at the, in the same location. Same thing with your oil rails, make sure that they are not lined up with any of that either. So there you go, a loaded piston with piston rings.